Hello, you are looking at this course because you want to know the best way to learn Affinity Designer for the iPad. And you may have looked at some tutorials on the internet about how to use this tool or that tool, but what you need are a comprehensive series of tutorials which have been carefully put together to get you proficient in Affinity Designer. Those videos will contain things like how to use the tools, but also when to use the tools and why to use the tools, plus dealing with any problems you might find when you're busy creating your masterpiece. But it's not just about tools, it's also about workflow. How to start, what to do next, how to finish the efficient ways you need to know to work as a designer and how to deal with the outside world, things like print houses. My name is Simon Foster. I've been a designer for many years and I'm going to give you all that. I'm going to show you all the important tools within Affinity Designer. And what's more, everything you see on screen, you will be able to download with and practice. In addition to that, I set practice videos where I set you tasks. You have a go at those tasks and then watch how I go about creating the same thing. Affinity Designer for the iPad is an illustration package, which means you deal primarily with vector graphics. I'll be taking you through all of those tools. I'll show you how to create simple shapes and edit them, how to add to them, how to cut away from them. Then we'll move on to the more professional tools to create more complicated shapes. We'll be applying what we learn in the exercises. You'll learn how to apply gradients, special effects. You'll learn about working with artboards, You'll learn good working practices, the right way to use the huge array of text tools at your service, and also how to have text flowing around curves. You'll also be learning about things like vector brushes. After that, there is an entire section of Affinity Designer devoted to bitmap tools. We'll look at that as well. I'll show you how to improve photos that you might need to use in your work. I'll show you the differences between vector brushes and bitmap brushes. I'll even show you how to incorporate both of them into the same design. In short, this course will give you a solid foundation of skills to work from. And from that point, you will have a solid body of knowledge which you can incorporate any new techniques into. So rather than knowing a tool here or a technique there, you'll know how to put it all together and you will be proficient with Affinity Designer for the iPad. Okay, so enroll now and learn the right way to make your designs really shine. My name's Simon Foster and I will see you on the course.